All right, Shalom Israel. First and foremost, as always, I would like to give all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakaha, Kwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth and sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. And welcome to another series of news and prophecy linking uh, biblical global events to biblical prophecy to show you hopeful members of the elect as well as you few sisters out there that everything that is written in the Holy Scriptures is faithful and true. Okay, Amalek, because those people in the land of Israel, they, they are really descendants of Amalek, which makes them Edomites. So they are not Jewish. They are Edomites. That is their correct biblical nationality. Okay, so Amalek preparing to attack Iranian nucle nuclear facilities. Okay, reports. Okay, the Amalekite authorities reach the consensus at all levels of security system and political echelon on on the need to attack Iran's nuclear facilities. Amalek news portal Walla reported citing a high ranking source. Amalek also allegedly has the technological capability to carry out such an attack. The report said on Thursday, Amalek will not allow Iran to obtain nuclear weapons, the source noted. Economic sanctions against Tehran serve only as a deterrent and are not intended to eliminate Iran's a nuclear project, the source added. Last week, the Axios news portal reported that Amalek's attack on Iran that took place in late October destroyed an active top secret nuclear weapons research facility of the Parchin military complex and affected the country's capability to resume nuclear arms research. The destroyed facility reportedly was part of Iran's Ahmad nuclear weapons program, which Tehran is believed to have halted in 2003. So, you know, what we're witnessing here as, you know, Yahawashai, Yahawashai prophesied what happened in the last days are wars and rumors of wars. Okay, if we come over here to Matthew chapter 24, verse 6, listen to what Yahawashai says. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Okay, so we know that the end is very, very near. Okay, also, if we go to, since I have the time after, it's 8 o'clock, it's almost 8 o'clock in the morning where I have to clock in. So while I still got plenty of time, let's go to the book of Jeremiah. Okay, chapter 50 and verse 45. Okay, Jeremiah 50, verse 45. Okay, because see, this is what's going to lead to a full-blown World War III. While we're already in the midst of World War III, okay, well, we're, we're in World War III right now, but what's going to fully get World War III kicked off is when the least of the flock go into the land of Israel, which will cause the United States of America to be dragged into their confrontation against the Iranians, okay, which, which that's going to cause Russia to step in. That's going to cause, because Russia, according to Ezekiel 38, is commanded to be a guard to these smaller nations, such as Iran, okay? So Russia is going to step in. Okay, NATO is going to step in because they're they're currently an ally of the United States of America, even though, according to Obadiah, chapter one, verse seven, they are going to turn on America. Also, according to Revelation, the 17th chapter and the 17th verse, NATO, which is the scarlet colored dragon, they're going to turn on the United States of America. OK, so. China is going to step in because they're an ally of Russia. Germany is going to step in because they're an ally of the U.S. Turkey is going to step in because they will be an ally of Russia in those times. OK, you know, North Korea is going to step in because they're an ally of Russia. 
You know, they made a pact with Russia, okay? Uh, um, you know, that of course you're gonna have Libya, you're gonna have uh, Libya involved, you're gonna have uh, um, Gomer involved, you know? And just like that, you know, India is also gonna get involved, you know, and, and just like that, you're gonna have the world super you're gonna have the world superpowers all gathering together in the Middle East, according to Joel chapter three, verse nine down to uh, ten. You know, they're gonna be gathered together, um, according to Isaiah thirteen, verse four, the Lord of hosts host, the Lord of host muster of the host of the battle. Okay, they're going to be gathered together over there in the Valley of Jehoshaphat, meaning, you know, Yahweh Shapat, because the Lord is going to bring judgment on them, on them over there in the Middle East. Okay, so Jeremiah 50 verse 45, this is what's, what's going to spark off a full blown World War Three. Okay, because it's going to start off as, you know, these Amalekites versus the Iranians, but then it's going to escalate into a, a full-blown World War III. But before all this, we know that the mark of the beast has to be made mandatory. Therefore, hear ye the counsel of the Lord that he have taken against Babylon, which is the United States of America, and his purposes that he have proposed against the land of the Chaldeans. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. The least of the flock is talking about those Amalekites in the land of Israel, okay? That's the least of the flock right there, the Amalekites. They are the least of the flock that shall draw them out. Draw who out? They shall draw out Babylon, which is the United States of America, into their confrontation against Iran. Surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them, because during World War III, it will be escalated into a nuclear war, which will lead to the nuclear destruction of the United States of America and the nuclear destruction of the Amalekites and all of those heathens in the land of Israel. But without a doubt, the United States of America will be the main target of this coming nuclear war. So with that, I'm going to say Shalom is on to the next one.